This is a lesson on regular French RE verbs, and I'll show you how to use them in the present, past, and future tenses. Bonjour. So this is the way today's lesson is going to work. I'm going to show you three different regular RE verbs in French, and we'll go through the present tense conjugation first, and then I'll show you some examples. Then we'll look at the passé composé conjugation, and I'll show you how the passé composé works, and even if you haven't learned it yet, that's okay, because I'll teach it to you today. And then we'll go through the futur simple. Once again, if you don't know how to use the futur simple, you will after this short lesson. So we're going to focus on three verbs. Here they are. The first verb we're going to look at is répondre, which means to respond, attendre, to wait, and vendre, to sell. Let me say something about attendre, just so you won't be confused. It does not mean to attend, it means to wait. D'accord? So we start out with répondre in the present tense. Look at all of the letters that I have highlighted in red at the end of all of these verbs. Those are your verb endings for regular RE verbs in the present tense. So you do need to memorize them, and once you've done that, you'll know how to conjugate a whole bunch of new verbs. In fact, if you look down in the video description, you'll see a link to my blog post that I've written about regular RE verbs, and there you'll find a whole list of other verbs that work the same way as the three I'm going to show you today. There's also a Quizlet study set that you can use to practice and master your new skills. So here we go. Je réponds. Tu réponds. Ils, elles, on répond. Now I'm going to stop here for a second because you see all those D's and S's on the ends of the verbs. They're actually silent. All three of those are pronounced the same way, and you don't pronounce the D's or the S's on the end. Je réponds, tu réponds, ils, elles, on répond. So you have to remember to write them, but not to say them. Nous répondons, vous répondez, and ils répondent, elles répondent. Now, when you're translating these from English to French, there are a few things to remember. There are three ways to translate je réponds. It means I respond. It also means I answer or I reply to. I do respond. And it means also I am responding. So don't be tempted to say je suis when you want to say I am responding. It's always like this with French verbs. If you've learned the verb être, you think, okay, je suis, I am, but you don't need it here. D'accord? So here's an example I have for you in the present tense. Tu réponds au téléphone. Tu réponds au téléphone means you are answering the telephone. Look at that word that I have in between répond and téléphone. This is an important one to, to look at when you're studying the verb répondre. When you want to say that you're answering something or someone, that verb répondre has to be followed by a with an accent grave on top of it. And when you have a and le, l-e, next to each other, and here you would have that, wouldn't you? Because téléphone is a masculine and singular noun, and le, l-e, is what goes in front of those kinds of nouns. When you have a and le next to each other, they form a contraction, and it becomes a-u, pronounced o. All right? Tu réponds au téléphone. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to use the verb répondre in the passé composé. So, there, is, there are two things that you really need to know about the passé composé. One is that you're going to need a helping verb. And number two, you're going to need to know what the past participle of the verb you're using is. So, have a look at this little chart. To form the passé composé, or the past tense conjugation, you'll need a helping verb. Most of the time, the helping verb is going to be avoir. All right? Not all the time, but for, for today's lesson, it's going to be avoir. And so, in order to use that helping verb, you need to know how to conjugate avoir. J'ai, tu as, il, elle, on, a. Nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. You have a lot of Z sounds in there. Nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. That's because avant, avait, and on all begin with vowels. 
So you have to make that Z sound. All right, so that's your helping verb. Now the next thing you need to know is how to put the how to put these things together. So if I want to say I responded or I replied or I answered, I say j'ai répondu. So you see j'ai, that's my avoir in the present tense, the one that I just showed you. And then répondu is the same for all of them. You see, that's because that's the past participle of répondre. So with all regular RE verbs in French, you're going to form the past participle the same way. You just take the RE off of the infinitive form of the verb, that's the full form of the verb before you start conjugating it. You take the RE off and you replace it with U. So that's pronounced répondu. Répondu. Now I'm just going to take a break here and I'm going to slip in something about that sound U because that's a hard one for English speakers to say. So long time ago when I first started taking French, you know, it was probably even my first semester of French in college because I didn't start learning until I was in college. Um, my professor, best teacher in the world, Linda Taylor, my teacher made the whole class do this. She said, okay, everyone say the letter E in English. E, okay, we can do that. She said, now stick your lips out like that. And while your lips are stuck out like that, say the letter E in English again. Just try it. Let's do it together. E. And there you have that sound E. So in French you just have to stick out your lips a lot more than what we do in English. E. Alright, so here is your past tense conjugation again. J'ai répondu. Tu as répondu. Ils, elles, ont a répondu. Nous avons répondu, vous avez répondu, ils ont répondu, elles ont répondu. D'accord? Now here is an example that I have for you in the passé composé. Tu as répondu à la question. Tu as répondu à la question means did you answer the question? So tu as répondu à. There's that A ah with the accent grave on the top of it that I talked about in the last example. Here it doesn't become a U because the word that follows it is a feminine singular noun. So that's la, L-A, la question, and a la, that's fine, next to each other. You don't have to form a contraction. All right, so now we're going to look at the future simple, le futur simple of the verb répondre. But before I remind you how to do it, let's see if you remember. What do you start out with before you add the endings? You start out with the full infinitive. That's right. But these are RE verbs. So when you have an RE verb, you do have to take the E off of the end of it. All right? Or else it's, you're just going to have too many vowels in there. So you take the full infinitive Almost. You just got to take the E off. And then what you have to add to it are the avoir endings. So have a look at this. Right? You start out with your infinitive, almost. Take off the E. And then you add the avoir endings, which are E, A, A, on, E, on. So I just went through a pronunciation of those. E, A, A, on, E, on. <laughs> All right, so now how about the future tense conjugation? Let's see what that looks like. Here you can see that I have taken the E off of répondre before adding the endings, the avoir endings. And here's what it sounds like. Je répondrai, tu répondras, il, elle, on répondra, nous répondrons, vous répondrez. Ils répondront, elles répondront, répondront. Ah, oh, I'm going to get it, all right? Here is the example I have for you today. Tu répondras demain? It means you'll reply tomorrow. So there I've just formed a question. You don't have to do anything fancy to form a question in French. You can just change the tone of your voice and put a question mark at the end. That's good enough. Okay, so now we're going to look at the verb attendre. Remember, it doesn't mean to attend, it means to wait. Attendre and all of the endings in the present tense are going to be the same as what they were for répondre. Have a look. 
Present tense conjugation. J'attends. Tu attends. Il, elle, on attend. Nous attendons. Vous attendez. Ils attendent. Elles attendent. Three ways to translate. You remember this. J'attends means I wait. I do wait. And it also means I am waiting. Here's an example for you. Vous attendez depuis longtemps? There again, I made a question just by changing the tone of my voice. Vous attendez depuis longtemps means have you been waiting long? Now, if you don't know about this depuis, it just means since, really. But anytime you want to say that you have been doing something for a certain amount of time in French, it's so much easier in French than in English because notice here, we're still using the present tense of the verb. You don't have to worry about the have been because this doesn't, it doesn't work like that in French. You use the present tense of the verb along with depuis because literally what this means is you are waiting since a long time. <laughs> All right, so have you been waiting long? Keep in mind, we're still waiting. So it does make sense to put this verb in the present tense. All right, so now we're going to move on to the passé composé. Remember what you need for the passé composé. You need a helping verb. So what is it? Avoir. And what is, how do you conjugate avoir? Can we do it together? J'ai. Tu as. Il, elle, on a. Nous avons. Vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. Right, so that's your helping verb. And how do you form the past participle of regular RE verbs? What is the past participle of attendre going to be? Da -da -da -da. Let's see if you can get it here. Here again is your past tense conjugation. And here you go. All you have to do to form the past participle is take off the RE of the infinitive and stick on a U. So let me hear you pronounce that. I wish I could hear you. The first one, pronounce it and stick your lips way out to get that U sound. J'ai attendu. There you go. Tu as attendu. Ils, elles, ont a attendu. Nous avons attendu. Vous avez attendu. And Ils ont attendu. Elles ont attendu. Here's an example. Vous avez attendu 30 minutes. You waited 30 minutes. Vous avez entendu, uh, attendu 30 minutes. Très bien. So, here we go. Future tense conjugation. What do you have to start out with before you add the endings? Your infinitive, almost. Right, because you got to take the e off, and then which endings do you put on there? The avoir endings, right? The e a a on e on. Hmm? Those are the avoir endings. Here's what they look like. Okay, and we'll move on to our future tense conjugation. J'attend, j'attendrai. Tu attendras. Il, elle, on attendra. Nous attendrons. Vous attendrez. Ils attendront. Elles attendront. Voilà. Très bien. And an example for you. Vous attendrez devant le cinéma. Vous attendrez devant le cinéma means you will wait in front of the cinema. Super. Okay. One last verb we'll go over together and that's the verb vendre. So vendre means to sell. It looks like a vendor or a vending machine, right? So that's how you can remember vendre, to sell. Present tense conjugation. How does it go? Do it with me before we look at it. Je vends. Tu vends. Il, elle, on vend. Nous vendons. Vous vendez. Ils vendent. Elles vendent. Yeah. So here you have it written out. Remember all of those D's and S's in the first three are silent. D'accord? But the last one, il vend, you do have to pronounce it because of that silent E. Three ways to translate it. You know this by now. I sell, I do sell, I am selling. So you'll never ever again think that you have to use je suis in there. Here's an example. Je vends ma voiture. Je vends ma voiture means I am selling my car. Okay, now we're going to move into the passé composé and I bet you can tell me how to say I sold. How do you do that? 
I sold. Remember, you have to use avoir as a helping verb. So there you have it. And then you need your past participle, which is going to be vendu. That's right. So here's what the past tense conjugation looks like. J'ai vendu. Tu as vendu. Il, elle, on a vendu. Nous avons vendu. Vous avez vendu. Ils ont vendu. Elles ont vendu. And an example. J'ai vendu mon appartement. J'ai vendu mon appartement means I sold my apartment. And finally, this is the last time we're going to be going over the future simple together. So let's see if we can do it without looking at how the words are written. Okay, we have to use the avoir endings. E, a, a, on, e, on. <laughs> All right, and then you need to use your stem, which is the infinitive, almost, because we take off the e. So let's go through it together. Je vendrai. Tu vendras. Il, elle, on vendra. Nous vendrons. Vous vendrez. Ils vendront. Elles vendront. D'accord? Here with those endings again, the avoir endings, and your future tense conjugation looks like that in written form. All right, and your last example for this lesson, je vendrai mes anciens meubles. Je vendrai mes anciens meubles means I will sell my old furniture. Voila, so if you enjoy these French lessons every Thursday, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that way you'll get notifications when something new comes out. Um, if you really like the lessons and all of the other free resources that I put on the internet to help you learn French, you may decide to become my patron on Patreon. You can look down in the video description if you want more information about that because I put a link there for you. You can also follow Love Learning Languages and become more of a part of the community by joining us on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, French teachers. If you are interested in the many French resources I have available for you, you can visit my store at TPT. And for teachers and learners alike, I put out a newsletter once a week. So be sure to sign up for that. Voila. Uh, just one more thing, if you're interested in taking private lessons, I do that as well. Just go on over to the blog and there you'll see links to the kind of French, te uh, French lessons that I can offer you on Skype. Voilà, c'est tout pour aujourd'hui. À très bientôt. Ciao et merci beaucoup.